Hello, my name is Lauren Heath and I'm a systems engineer at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Currently, I am working from home and I have since March of 2020. Um, most of my job can be done remotely, which is a pretty cool thing. Um, NASA is already set up to be able to have virtual meetings since there are people at NASA centers across the United States and also since we work with international partners in other countries. So I'm able to do all of my work virtually right now um, you can see my computer behind me. Uh, that's what most of my job is like. I'm in meetings. I am on phone calls with my teammates. I'm sending emails and um, doing all of my work and uploading it to uh, a site that we can all share documents with. So my connection to the school is that my aunt is Mrs. Hall and she asked if I would give a little um, career day overview and I'm excited to do that. And I've been doing my job for about a year and a half now. Previous to this role, I actually worked in the medical device industry for about 10 years, um, helping patients that were getting medical devices implanted. So space and NASA is a whole new world for me, but it's something that I've always been interested in. And I was so excited to bring my skills here. My education is that I'm a biomedical engineer from Texas A&M University. And with each new role I've had, I've taken those skills from the previous job and learned how do you can apply them to a totally new industry uh, and still be successful. So my day usually starts with catching up on emails um, and I see if there was anything that I missed from the day before. I go back to things that I know I needed to finish from the previous day. I like to take a lot of handwritten notes because that makes me feel good when I cross something out. Um, and most of the tasks that I'm trying to complete are helping my teammates um, complete their work. So I'm a team lead and that means that I'm kind of looking over the whole project. And for me right now, that project is called the Gateway Program. And if you're not aware, NASA is on uh, a mission to send the next astronauts back to the surface of the moon. And we haven't been back to the moon since the 1970s. Um, and so this is a really exciting time. There are multiple programs going on at NASA. You might have heard of the Orion spacecraft, and that's the spacecraft that'll carry the astronauts from Earth to the moon's orbit. Then I'm working on the Gateway Program, which is gonna be an outpost orbiting the moon. So if you've ever heard of the International Space Station that orbits Earth, Gateway is going to be a smaller version of that that orbits the moon. So astronauts will come from Earth, they'll go and dock at the Gateway. On Gateway, they'll have um, more space, they'll have more storage, they'll have all their food, um, they'll have some science experiments that they'll be working on, and then they will leave the Gateway and get on the human landing system vehicle. Um, and right now there's several companies working to design those, and that will take two crew down to the surface of the moon while two crews stay on Gateway. And the idea with Gateway is that we are um, trying to further test our limits and see what we need for longer duration missions, and that will hopefully prepare us to go to Mars. I'm at work for about eight hours a day. Um, some days are longer than others, depending on if I have meetings that start early. As I mentioned, we work with international partners that are in other countries, and they might be in other time zones. So sometimes that means a really early meeting or a really late meeting so that we can be um, conversing with people while they're still awake. And I work in the Human Health and Performance Directorate, which is all about what the um, strengths and weaknesses of a human are and making sure that those things are considered when they're building spacecraft. So you may think if we're building something for an astronaut, of course, we're gonna think about putting a human in there, but you'd be really surprised at the things that people forget. It's also a totally different thing to exercise in space or go to the bathroom in space or eat in space. It's very different than how we do it on Earth. So I work with the subject matter experts that are in different fields to make sure that they consider the intricacies of their system when they're designing a vehicle. So it's important that we have water that gets dispensed at the right temperature and the right amounts for our food system. It's important that we have enough volume for the crew to be able to exercise in, but we also think about things like sweat and dirt that's gonna accumulate when people are exercising. We need to make sure we can clean our vehicle. Um, it's important that we think about um, the behavioral health of people and that they have relaxing activities that they can do, something that connects them to home, whether that's video calls with their family or listening to their favorite podcasts or movie. Um, all of those things have to be in, brought into consideration when we're designing a vehicle. And um, my job is to connect those experts with the people that are designing the vehicle to make sure that those don't get forgotten. 
So it's important that you learn how to write well, technically, no matter what job you're in, because generally every job will have email of some sort involved with it. Um, so it's important that you can write well and that you can communicate your point without getting too lengthy, but including enough details for somebody to follow along with what you're trying to say. So one of the funnest things about my job is all the cool perks of seeing things at NASA. So I've gotten to see mock-ups of the International Space Station. I've gotten to see things like a space potty and how those are designed. Um, things like the lunar rovers mock-ups from the Apollo era and new designs. Uh, they have the Apollo 11 mission control room still captured. Um, I've gotten to see what mission control looks like today. Um, things like the mock-ups of different suit designs as those have developed. Um, and each time there's a new mock-up in a building, I try to check it out. <laughs> there's the food laboratory where all the astronauts' food is made and packaged. Uh, we've had a family day where my kids got to come on site pre-pandemic and the Rocket Park, which is open to the public and can be seen. Um, and as a student, I was a straight-A student. Um, I loved English and I loved math. Uh, so going into engineering was definitely a focus on math, but I've gotten to use those English skills when I'm writing those emails or working on reports. Um, so just because you might be good at one subject, don't let that limit you on what career you might have. And to be successful at my job, you need to be a good communicator, you need to be somebody that pays attention to details, but that can also summarize things in a general way for someone to understand. Um, you need to be able to get along with people because you're working in a team environment, and you need to be able to prioritize your time. There's a lot of actions coming in from different people, different due dates, and different amounts of work, and it's really important that you can keep up with what all of those different actions are and prioritize your time to get them done in the amount of time you're given.